we want to convert the point two comma three pi divided by four comma two pi divided by three, which is given in spherical coordinates, to Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates. So we want to find x comma y comma z, given that we know rho equals two, theta equals three pi divided by four, and phi equals two pi divided by three. So we'll find the Cartesian coordinates using our formulas provided here. So x is equal to rho times sine phi times cosine theta, which should be two times sine two pi divided by three times cosine three pi divided by four. And then y is equal to rho times sine phi times sine theta, which would be two times sine two pi divided by three times sine three pi divided by four. And finally z is equal to rho times cosine phi, which is two times cosine two pi divided by three. And now to find these trig function values, we can use a unit circle or reference triangles. Let's first use reference triangles, and then we'll check the values on the unit circle. So we'll sketch two pi divided by three and three pi divided by four in standard position to sketch the reference triangles. So two pi divided by three is also equal to 120 degrees. So the initial side would be here, the terminal side would be approximately here, where we'd have a reference angle of pi divided by three radians, or 60 degrees. So the reference triangle would look something like this, where we have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. So we can label the three sides one, two, square root three, but because we're in the second quadrant where x is negative, this would be negative one. So we can use this reference triangle to find the trig function values for two pi divided by three radians. And now we'll sketch three pi divided by four radians, which is also equal to 135 degrees. So the initial side would be here, the terminal side would be in the second quadrant, here, or now the reference angle would be pi divided by four radians, or 45 degrees. So the reference triangle would look like this, and now because we have a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, we can label the three sides one, one, square root two. But again, because we're in the second quadrant, this leg would be negative one. So this would be the reference triangle for three pi divided by four radians. So now we can find our trig function values. For x we have two times sine two pi divided by three would be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two. And then for cosine three pi divided by four, that would be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative one divided by square root two. But if we rationalize this, we should recognize this would be negative square root two divided by two. Let's go ahead and use the cosine function value in this form. So we have negative square root two divided by two. Simplifying before we multiply, two divided by two simplifies to one. So x is equal to negative square root six divided by two. And now for y, we have two times we already know sine two pi divided by three is equal to square root three divided by two. And now sine three pi divided by four is equal to the ratio of the opposite side of the hypotenuse, which would be positive one divided by square root two. Well, we know one divided by square root two is also equal to square root two divided by two. So let's go ahead and use square root two divided by two. And notice here, again, this simplifies so our product is positive square root six divided by two. And then finally for z, we have two times cosine two pi divided by three, which would be two times cosine two pi divided by three is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative one divided by two, or negative one half. So notice here, the z coordinate is just negative one. So the Cartesian coordinates are negative square root six divided by two comma positive square root six divided by two comma negative one. 
And before we go, we did say we were going to verify our trig function values on the unit circle. Let's go ahead and do that. Here's the angle two pi divided by three, and here's the angle three pi divided by four. So the x coordinates give us the cosine function values, and the y coordinates give us the sine function values, which does verify we found our trig function values correctly. I hope you found this helpful.